If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I love to showcase women who are out on the road in vans that aren't quite done yet. I want to encourage you to do enough to get out here and worry about the details later. And that's exactly what Kat's doing. She's living full time in her almost finished Dodge Ram Pro Master and was willing to show it off to encourage you to join us on the road. Her van features a beautiful kitchen with a tile backsplash, a huge closet, and a unique raised bed. And before we dive in, I just want to invite all the women watching to join our Nomadic Women's Virtual Happy Hour on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can find the link in our Facebook group, Gal Adventures, and I stuck the link in the description below. Um, at Kathy's Camper. This is my van. It's named Bowie um, and she's a Pro Master 159 long wheelbase 2018. Mm -hmm. I've had this van since February, built it out February and March of um, this year and took about two months to do everything and, and then I built it out with my friend Shane. I've been having sketches of the van for honestly a few years now. Been always just obsessing with van life videos and builds. So this is pretty much exactly the layout I've always wanted. She's about 95% done. Yeah, so this is the front. Uh, a lot of people like how much space I have in here because most of the time this whole walkway has either a kitchen or a bench and so it's nice and open. I do need to get a rug, but when, we'll get to that later. We have the swivel seats. Don't have one for the drivers um, because I knew I was going to have this behind it, which actually kind of works out because um, I don't have a partition, but I do have a curtain. And I like having these two because this one lets in the light and also from the outside just looks black. And then this is like um, a half blackout curtain that will come across so I can turn the lights on and then you don't see anything. So. I'm glad I went with this. I do need to get a gonna get a curtain rod though. So make it a little bit easier access, but it's doing the trick now. We have my fridge. This is an isotherm 180. It's pretty big. It's a good size. Definitely a good size for one person. There's normally another shelf that goes right here, but I had to take it out for the pasta pot. And then yeah, this is kind of like my um like medicine cabinet if you will medicine cleaning supplies some towel you know cough syrup just for sickness in general my little fan so i actually don't have a max air fan in here i only have a skylight so i do use this one to create a nice little draft i got a thrift store that's a cute little usb one mm -hmm. let me just put that in here and open crack this window open creates a nice um breeze so this is a trick, like a lot. And also one of my favorite pieces of the van is this little open shelf. It has a lip on it, like maybe half an inch. So a lot of things actually don't fall off, but some things are Velcro down. These are real tile and we did not, I think we did, we did use a flexible grout and everything like that. I haven't had any issues with it. I like how your cabinet doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. Yes. That yes. makes it so much simpler. Yeah. Um, that was a design choice by Shane. I think also partially a builder choice as far as um, the structure. Yeah. And then the accents and everything and the lights. I'm, I'm thinking of putting some extra like fun, cool color lights up there mm -hmm. um, just to like illuminate it. But yeah, it is nice. Um, this is, yeah, my other cabinet is my other like junk drawer. So under here is my sink. I have my hot water heater on one side. Um, that's four gallons. And then this little Ikea trash can. And I don't have a cat, but that actually is what I use for my toilet, which I'll explain later. We are going to finish up the electrical down here too, but that's almost done. I actually have not used a water heater yet because it's not plugged, mm -hmm. but I haven't really needed to. This is a great size sink. 
I love this sink, honestly. It's just big enough to wash my hair in. So my toilet is actually right in here. But yeah, I have the dry flush, Laveo dry flush. This is one of the cartridges, what they look like. And so the way it works is like a diaper genie in there. Um, so there's 15 flushes in this and I did use it originally when I got the toilet, but I felt like it was, I maybe I'll talk to the people at Laveo, but I felt like it was filling up really fast. Um, as in like the bags will just kind of stack on top of each other. So when I went to the bathroom, um, maybe like after the 10th time, I felt like the bag was very close to the seat. So what I do now actually is I'll get a trash bag, like a tall kitchen trash bag, get one of those, get my kitty litter as a base, and then that's what I fill it up with. There. And then you just, you know, top her off. It's a little high right now because we've been here for a few days in the mm -hmm. <laughs> weekend, but normally it's just a full, nice full bowl. And then, um, you know, just spray a little bit on top. Do you like this toilet a lot? I think it's a good height. Yeah. I actually sure. never thought about using it just as a base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's a really interesting yeah, idea. Pretty much. Um, I am going to get like a nice cute little cushion out here. I'm probably going to make one. Maybe if I could thrift one, that'd be cool. I was also thinking of making a, um, a, sh a cushion out of this blanket that I like. So I might do that. Mm -hmm. um, but these are six inch memory foams from my bed that I got from Amazon. Um, they're pretty nice. I think this is supposed to be like a cooling topper on it. Um, but yeah the heat is definitely really important for me because i get really hot in bed so i needed a good a good mattress um and this wasn't too pricey it was like kind of middle of the road but yeah so that's part of my bed so my bed is actually slightly bigger than a queen okay so i got a twin and a queen it's a little excessive you could probably get away with getting two twins we have a piece that will go in the middle here it has a little lip um for it right and then I have these cushions, and then I actually have two in the back. I put these little pieces back here because there's like a little gap in the back. So yeah, there's two of these right here, and then um, they just squish together. And then this is a full queen um, cover that'll put over all the cushions. When it's not in bed mode, it's in couch mode. And this is usually how I keep it most of the time. I'm traveling by myself, so this is plenty of space for me. And I like the different options. You know, I feel like this is like my dining area. And then this is the living room. So I like having <laughs> different levels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do have a lagoon mount as well here. Mm -hmm. And then this is unfinished, but this is my little step and also for my shoe storage and my heaters right there. Mm -hmm. So storage, we have shoe storage here. I can actually lift this up because it's not bolted down right now. Oh, but so you can see it's a pretty big space. I have a good amount of shoes in there. Yeah. And it's going to come out to just a little bit further. So it's flush with the okay. heater when it's finished. So we have that as for storage. And then we have my big storage, which is Normally where I keep like everything, I have my laundry, all my bags. This is nice and deep. It goes all the way down. It's insulated too, so so I like to keep my computer in here. And then my favorite part is my closet. This design was actually a Shane design. Originally, I had just planned on doing like a half shelf and then a bar across to hang things but this uh, i feel like i can fit so much stuff in here it works way better probably also going to condense everything so that i can have this be like a little pantry i have a full suitcase full of winter gear in the back so this is more like the lights jackets so as far as keeping it closed we are gonna get some latches um i think the ones we ordered yeah the ones we ordered originally were um way too heavy duty so they were just like really cumbersome and unnecessary so mm. we're going to use that for something else um, but what i'm using now is actually heavy duty velcro and this works great so you can get these like literally i think i got them at target this is what they look like this one specifically is called dual lock um but i got at target 
You can also get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. Mm -hmm. But basically, this is both the like this is both sides. Got it. You know, because regular Velcro, um, the one that's not heavy duty, you have like a soft side and then a spiky mm -hmm. side. So that's what makes these like so strong because they are kind of they interlock on each other. So you just cut off a couple pieces, and then that's what I use for my latch right now. Nice. And you can like hear it yeah. when it locks. So it's pretty like it's pretty strong. Then we have this accent lighting on just to you know kind of highlight the kitchen area, and I do like having two different light sources. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have three light sources. This guy. Yes. And they have a little That's USB nice. too at the bottom for charging my phone. That comes in handy a lot. Cause yep. so I have charging stations on the front of my van and the back of my van. My power is all on this side. I have 400 watts of um, solar panel on top of my van. And then I have 500 amp hours. Every time I've checked it, I've been at like 80 plus percent. Mm -hmm. This red thing with the green line is the Wee Boost. And then this whole box actually from this end all the way to the front is mm -hmm. what all my batteries are encased in. Mm -hmm. And Shane put little fans, um, little vent holes on the bottom to make sure there's plenty of circulation. We have like the kill switch on the bottom I can reach from the top too. Definitely want to get a Starlink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have so, plenty of power for it. Definitely plenty of power, and yeah, I feel like the Weebus isn't um, my favorite. I was also under the impression that a Weeboost was all you needed, as in like that was Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? I didn't realize it just boosts your signal, whatever signal you have. So on your phone, if you have a hotspot, it'll help you boost that mm -hmm. too. Because especially with this insulation, before I got the Wii Boost, I wasn't even able to use my phone in the van except in the cab. Okay. And yeah, we did foam board for insulation and then we sprayed a little bit of super like spray foam just in the cracks to kind of seal it in. So for the siding, we did tongue and groove pine. Pretty easy to put up. Honestly, if you can get past the ceiling, that's the hardest. That's especially being short because, you know, you have to put a lot of pressure up here to like get it bolted down. Um, speaking of bolts, Shade actually did bolt down by floor. We put insulation and then pieces of plywood on top um, to seal it in. So that's bolted down. So it's pretty nice and it feels very like rigid and everything is not going anywhere. I think I want to get like at least a year of living in here before I continue making the modifications. Other than the finishing touches that we like know, like the handles and things like that. Mm -hmm. Other things I've considered are like putting in windows. So originally I didn't want any windows, but I wasn't sure if I was going to change my mind on that. Um, just for a safety thing, I feel a lot um, more relaxed in here without windows, especially because I like to have my lights on and don't like feeling like I'm in a fishbowl so mm -hmm. but also a breeze is nice every now and then so I think that will be probably the only thing so this skylight actually also has a light another light source that's really bright oh, wow yeah it's usually usually too bright mm -hmm. it's only because it's daylight right now that's nice but um it has a screen and a blackout hmm <laughs> And they just clip together like that so you can separate them and climb out. I got a knockoff Amazon version. And when I say knockoff, I mean, it's not like a Dometic. And I think I would get a Dometic next time because I've only been in it since February and it's already started um, breaking a little bit. Mm. So be warned if you get the Amazon version and it's honestly not even that much cheaper. So you latch like that. And then, no, it's locked. Okay. So, yeah, my sky is my favorite thing. We've actually been coming back to watch the stars every night. And yeah, and then you can see my solar panel from here. So I do come up here to clean my solar panel sometimes. <laughs> this is my garage. And I actually, for the longest time, wanted to have like a little access point. Um, Cause I thought I would be needing to get into the space a lot more, but this has worked out great. This is where all my power bank is on the left here. And then, yeah, this is my whole electrical panel. 
thing is coated. Haven't had to get in there to use it too much. Yeah, I have a little light switch here for these, which this actually comes in great handy at night. So um, it can illuminate everything. Have my paddle board. On this side is actually my water tank. So this is like on the outside is the fill and it goes down in here and it's 30 gallons. There's a light in here that shows um, my water and so I can see how full it is. I want to thank Kat for sharing her comfy van with us. I'm not sure if it's her van build or her personality that makes it feel so welcoming, but probably a combination of the two. If you liked this video, please share it. And if you'd like to see more van and rig tours, van life tips, and other information to help women get on the road, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you're a woman who would like to join in deeper conversation, join our Facebook group, Gal Adventurers, where I organize our weekly Nomadic Women's Virtual Happy Hour every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.